Hey guys, how's it going? So in this tutorial, we will be adding a bit of uh, you know sauce to this uh, tab component that we created in my previous tutorial. So currently, as you can see, it's pretty boring. Uh, I mean, the only the highlight we get is just the color changing. What I would like to add is a slider, and then maybe add a some kind of a gloss kind of effect. Uh, Kind of scientific issue to get started uh it's the same project the only change i made is i was getting this error about index uh, and you know if you're using map in a react and you want to provide a key so i forgot that uh, my apologies and i've added that here so make sure you add that so you don't get any errors and once we have that done uh, then we can start adding the rest of the stuff so I'll come here and uh, just make some space and uh, we, we can add some code here, uh, mainly some references and stuff. So what I can do is I'll say const container ref is equal to use ref and we'll set that to null. So the idea is I want to get a reference to this container right here. Uh, so what I'll do then is I'll come here and I'll say ref equals to container ref should pick it up yep so once that is done then the other thing we need to do is also get a width of how of the container and then you divide by how many tabs you have that will give you the width of the uh, slider for an individual tab so that's the whole idea okay so what I'll do is then I'll come here I'll use a use effect hook because that is the best candidate for it and I only want to run it uh, when the um, when there's a reference so I'll say container ref and then uh, I can set some height now to do that we will use a state all right and we will use state so initially just uh, make it zero and then I can come here and I can say set container width and we can use the uh, uh, bounding client rectangular rect actually to get the width so let's type that All right, so that's gonna give us the width of the entire container right here. And uh, now what we want to do is we want to set the width on the slider. So children is the number of tabs that we have. So we just divide by that and that'll give us the length of the uh, individual uh, slider. So now once we have that squared away, uh, then what we can do is start utilizing it. And the way we're gonna do this is we'll come here and this is where we will add the slider. Uh, before we do that of course we need to go and uh, ahead and create one so i'll uh, actually i think i can do this it's a slider so we need to create that in the style.js file so i'm here in the style.js file and we can start adding the slider so i can say export const tab slider and it will be a div i like so all right, so we'll be passing in the the width and the index, right? And the idea is that, so let's say, I'll just type in something. So let's say you have the slider. So this is at position zero, the next one is at position one, and then position two, and so on. So if the width is W, and if you times it by the index, so that means you're at, at this position, right? Now, if the index is one, then that means I'm offset by, you know, um, that many pixels. So this is exactly what we're gonna do. All right, so we're gonna start by adding the width first. So I'll say width is equal to, um, this will be passed in. So I can say props, and then I can say props.width. Now it'll be pixels. Uh, of course I can do like this, this will be stupid. So I can uh, put this in the ticks, of course, this has to go in. And then we need to interpolate this, so we can do something like, like this. So that'll give me the width. Um, let's give it a height of four pixel, and let's give it a background color that I chose, and that's my theme color, ADB5. And the other thing we need is, uh, we need to transition this over, let's say 0.4 second, and then we need to transform this. So this is what I was talking about up here, how much we need to transform by. So um, if I can spell, transform, all right. Uh, so let's come over here and start doing the interpolation again. So we'll say props, and we'll say props dot 
with times uh, the props dot index right so that's the formula we use now, of course we need to translate so we can say translate translate x in the x direction and i need to wrap this in my brackets and then the same idea we need to interpolate this so i'll put this in take and then what i can do is put this in take and of course it doesn't know what this is so we need to wrap this like so I think that should work and that did work all right so now we do this and looks like it's giving me error because i'm missing this so now uh, let's start using this over here so i'll come here and i'll say tab slider tab slider like so and then i can come here and start using it where my comments are so i can say tab slider uh, so we need to provide the width as we said and we have that already it is a slider width right and then we also need to provide in an index uh, which is i guess selected tab so so i can close this and if everything worked well there you go so let's go back here and see why it's not moving so i have translate x and oh uh, you need to do the pixel thing here if I come here now, hopefully this will work, but that works. All right, so I don't know, maybe that's a little bit slow. I can change this to 0 0.2. That's a bit fast. All right, I'm liking this. So the other thing we need to add is maybe some sort of a, a border and some kind of shadow and everything. So I've already created that. Uh, I'm not going to type that here. Here. Uh, and now we can start using this so and I can do animation right and which animation we want we want inset and we were going to run it at 0 0.4 second and uh, I have a cubic bezier that I'm just going to copy it's going to run on both like so so wow there you go you saw that all right so I can come here click here click here you can see this nice soft effect that's happening of course, uh, the width is not updating live, so we need to just refresh. And there we go. You can add very nice, cool effect animation, and you can change the colors, play around with it. I think it looks pretty cool. You can even add maybe a drop shadow, whatever you like. So I hope uh, that was helpful. You guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. I have more videos coming. And bye for now.